All right, welcome to week 13, guys. Uh, this week you'll be putting together your multimodal presentations where you will be presenting uh, your multimodal um, websites, uh, whatever that might be, the website, social media, um, change.org, uh, whichever modality you chose. Um, you'll be presenting it, and one of the things that becomes one of the things that becomes a little bit difficult in that with an online class is that how do you record yourself? Now, of course, you have the option of using your phone, and of course, you know, putting it out here and just kind of recording everything on the screen and recording you sitting in front of your computer talking. That would be perfectly fine. Um, the alternative would be to do something like I do here, uh, where I record my desktop and I record myself speaking with it. That would be an option as well. If you want to do that, um, there's a number of programs out there. The one that I'm using now and the one that I've used all semester is a program called XSplit. And as you can see here, I have put uh, a link to the XSplit Broadcaster website. So you can click on that and it'll take you to the website. Once you're there, uh, you just click on the download free button. It's a big orange block in the middle of the screen. And once you do that, it will take you to the download page. Make sure when you download it, you download the Broadcaster and not the Gamecaster. I don't use the Gamecaster, so I'm not sure what it does. Uh, the Broadcaster uh, does what you'll need it to do, um, because that's what I use it for. So you'll click Download, and you'll go through the installation of that. Once you get all that done, it's going to bring up a screen like this. It's not going to have this mirror screen here, nor will it have my webcam, or your webcam. Uh, so what you'll need to do is you'll need to come down here and click into this white area, and go over here to Add. But once you do that, it'll come up with screen capture. I'm going to click that, but I think it might turn off my screen. And if it doesn't, great. But if it does, what's going to happen is it's going to bring up a box, uh, kind of a crosshair, a giant red, uh, two red lines, one coming down from the top of your screen and one going across the screen. And where you click the first time, that starts the box. And so you would want to click it and then drag it all the way down to the other area of your screen that you want to copy. So it allows you to, to just take a, a portion of your screen or it allows you to take the whole thing. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's two lines intersecting where my mouse is. And so I bring it up to the top left-hand corner and I drag it all the way down. I click and drag all the way down until I get to the area that I want to record, all of the area that I want to record. And as you can see, it added a section there to where now it's only recording the parts that I selected with that crosshair where I clicked and held down and dragged across my screen. Notice you can't see my taskbar, my start button, and all my icons at the bottom of my screen. That's because I didn't select that area. Now you can if you want to, or you can select even a smaller area uh, to make it a little bit more condensed. Now in order to add your webcam, you can see here now I've, I have two desktop regions. They're essentially the same thing. Um, so you'll want to do now is click in the white area again. And if you would like to add your webcam, you just come here and you go to webcam and you select yours. Mine's a Logitech HD webcam C270, um, but you can notice that I'm actually on my tablet so I can use my front camera or I can use my rear camera or I can use whatever this is. I'm not sure what that is, um, but somewhere on here you should have your webcam listed. So you'll click it and it'll bring it up and there you go, now you have another one of me. Um, and this actually brings up a good point. Down here, you can close any of them. If you uncheck a box, it removes it from your screen. And so for me, I'm going to delete the second box, the second webcam, and now I'm back to just my mirror screen and this. So you can kind of play with those if you have multiple things maybe you want to show. Um, but overall, that's how that goes down. Um, and once you want to record it, you just go up here to broadcast. Now, if you have a Twitch account, you, by all means, post it to the internet, but you don't need to do that. Um, you can just go down here to, it'll say local recording. You'll click on that to start it, and at the end, you'll have to come back up here to stop it as well. Of course, you can pause or do whatever you need to do. Once you've found that, you're going to go to Tools and go to My Recordings. After you've recorded your video and you want to post it, you want to go to My Recordings, and it'll bring up a list of all of your videos that you've recorded. So you can see all of the videos are recorded for this semester. Um, if you would like to actually get to the actual file, because you'll need to do that, you want to go down here to open folder. And it's going to open the folder with all of your videos. And you can see those are all the videos that I've posted this semester. You will then want to go to YouTube because you actually have to post this online. Well, I suppose actually you have two options. You can either take this file and drop the, the video directly into the discussion board, which I'm not too sure if you can do that because it's going to be a 
a pretty large file. You can notice here, if we just look at my uh, video from my thesis development, it was 170 megabytes. So I doubt you're going to be able to post videos to the discussion board. You're welcome to try that, but the alternative would be to come to YouTube and upload it to YouTube and then send us the link. So here you would click on upload and then you sign into your account and once you get there um, you'll be able to click on upload and actually just drag it into the box or view it from the, the folder that you had earlier. Um, so that is one option. Well I guess I've given you a couple options there. Um, but like I said, I don't think you're going to be able to upload the entire file to Blackboard, but you can upload it to YouTube and then give us a link to that um, to that that site on YouTube. If you decide otherwise, like the other option would be to set up a camera kind of behind you back here, and then to be turned around talking to it while your screen is back here, and you can kind of like talk to the video and then do your thing on on the computer. That's an option. Or if there's any other way that you can think of to give us a video of you presenting something, perhaps it's just someone else holding a camera and recording you, um, or you know, with a phone or with a tablet or whatever. Um, however you go about that though, that's, uh, this is a video on how to use the XSplit, and if that works for you, great, and if it doesn't, uh, just let me know and we can figure out something for you. Uh, but overall, that's that, and so uh, I look forward to seeing those videos, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks.